dance, you know dance See the people that sway them trouble yard Whoa, 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 hey Pull up, come again my bad man selector Pull up, come again my bad man selector, y'all Why, 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 hey Allah, hey What's going on everyone? It's Stranger and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And today's video is sponsored by Loop Masters. They have a campaign going on called Stay Inspired where they're giving away free plugins, sounds and tutorials and you can check it out all in the link below. And particularly this week they're giving out a couple plugins for free including iHeart New York which is a parallel compressor Pulsar Smasher, which is a vintage compressor, a vocal splitter, which helps your vocals stand out in the mix. And as well, they're giving away a free vocal pack, which includes nearly a gig full of vocal samples, which you can use in your track royalty free. So we're gonna be using all of these in our track today. So make sure you check the link below and grab the freebies today. So I've been getting a lot of requests for this. So today we're gonna to be working on reggae influence drum and bass, otherwise known as Raga. And this sound has been popularized by many artists over the years, including Shy FX, Congo Nati, Benny Page, Toronto's own Marcus Visionary, as well as Ed Solo and Decline. So comment down below and let me know what are some of your favorite Raga drum and bass jungle tracks. Also, I appreciate it if you can subscribe. If you haven't, hit the bell notification and share the video. It all helps my channel grow. And also, I'd like to invite you to join our Discord community in the link below. You can find like-minded music producers, and you can also post up your tracks for feedback. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I have this beat constructed here, and we're at 172 beats per minute. So here's the kick. And here's the snare. And here's the hi-hat, and I have the velocity going high, low, high, low to give it a little more groove. So let's hear it all together. And then I have this Amen loop here. Now I have this plugin called Samplex, which emulates all the old school samplers, which had lower bit rates and sample rates, which gave it this really lo-fi crunchy sound. So I'll show you a couple different presets here. So it brings out this new quality in the Amen and it makes it sound really nice and crunchy. So let's hear it all together with the beat. And also I have this sandy shaker to give it a little more top end. So now that we have a beat, an approach I like to use to help with creativity is to use a vocal or musical loop to base our track out of. So I have Loop Master's Loop Cloud platform here. And this is a neat platform because it allows you to browse virtually their entire sample catalog on their cloud. And what's neat about it is that it can sync to Ableton's BPM and as well you can tune all the samples to a particular key. So I have the Stay Inspired vocal pack here and we have some dub vocals. So I can play the sample here. Dancing, I don't see the people leave away them trouble, y'all. Whoa, way. So now I'm gonna play it together with the beat within Loop Cloud. Dancing, I don't see the people leave away them trouble, y'all. Whoa, way. Hey, a now, another cool feature of Loop Cloud is in the sample player here, you have additional tracks which you can layer. So I can layer this main vocal with another vocal loop, such as this one here in the track two. Now, if you click auto, it's gonna match the key. So we're in the key of E, so it's gonna sync the key of this sample to our main vocal. So this is a neat way to look for samples that can work together for your song. 
Now, once you have your samples, you can click and drag directly into Ableton. Dancing and dance the people live away them travel y'all away hey in a dance. Okay, so now that we have the vocal loop playing with some drums, let's add some additional musical elements. So I have Ample Guitar TC here and it's playing a reggae rhythm here. Now it would take an entire video to walk you through how this plugin works, but essentially I've programmed it to play a chord progression to go with our vocal. And then I added some additional effects such as guitar rig and some filter and delay to make it more dubbed out. So now that we have some musical elements, let's program in a bass. And I'm gonna program a modern Raga style dub bass. And most of the time it, we use the square wave here. And I'm just gonna filter it using one of the low passes. And just bring the cutoff down. And then you can bring the drive up. Then you can add a bit of release on that bass. Okay, so now let's play a melody to go with our groove. Okay, so here's our bass line. Now let's quantize it. And I'm going to quantize only the start of the note and leave the end of the note unquantized to keep it a little more groovy. Let's just fix some of the notes here. Now notice I left a one bar gap at the end of the phrase. We're gonna fill this in with another bass sound. So I have this bass sound designed in Massive X and it's inspired by Chase and Status' burning. And I just have it playing this two notes at the end. So I grouped all the drum tracks together in a drum bus, which allows us to then process the entire drum track together. So we're going to pull in the iHeart New York plugin directly into the drum bus. So the reason why they called this plugin iHeart New York is that they've modeled this over the process known as New York style parallel compression. Essentially what this does is it adds a parallel layer of compression on top of the dry signal. So you get the benefits of that saturation and that crunch from compression without losing the dynamics of your drums. So in layman terms, you get that crunch in your drums while still sounding punchy. So we'll drag this parallel signal up. And you can spank it. Now we're moving into extremes here and that certainly that's an option if you want to have that extreme sound, but we can bring it down a bit. So this is the setting I have for the compressor. And this is without it. Notice how it brings out those drums and makes it really come alive. So let's hear it all together with the track and first I'm going to play it without it. Now let's hear it with it. much more punchy and live now, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is pull in Pulsar's Smasher, which is a vintage compressor, right into the vocal track. So using this compressor allows us to really smash that vocal and make it sound really present over our track. And here's it without it. So here's the vocal with the compressor. Here's the vocal with the track without the compressor. And here's the vocal with the compressor.
So it gives it that really warm tube sound. Now you can bring down the mix so it's not as harsh so you get some of that original signal back. So this is the vocal splitter which splits your vocal signal between the left and right so you get more stereo depth. And essentially what it seems to do is it helps bring the vocal out in the mix. So here's the vocal without it. And here's it with the vocal splitter. And this is without it. And let's hear it with the track. Now again, just like the compressor, you can bring the mix back so it's not as intense. And that sounds much better now. And then I added some EQing to sculpt the vocal a little bit and then added a delay. So let's hear it all together with the beat. So I have this Foghorn preset that I created and it's coming out soon on my Serum preset pack so keep your eyes out for that. And I also have this stat bass that plays along with the Foghorn. So let's hear it with the beat. Okay, so I put the sequence in a basic arrangement here. So I have the reggae drop here, and then I have the foghorn drop, and then I have a alteration of the foghorn drop here with a secondary bass. So let's hear it all together. Alright, so that was my Raga drum and bass track. Now it started off as a Raga track and then dropped into a Foghorn track. So hopefully there's a little bit of something for everyone. And shouts out again to Loop Masters for sponsoring this video. And make sure you check the link below to grab the free plugins and samples. Alright guys, so I stepped away from the track and came back with some new focus and really wanted to rework some of the sounds, especially the Falkhorn sounds, as well as introducing a new Reese sound. I was super excited to show you guys this. It's a jacked up, amped up version of this Raga song. Okay, so the first thing is I made this edit of the Falkhorn sound where it plays a more tighter, short note, and it's a lot more high pitch for that screechy Falkhorn sound. <laughs> Thank you.
And then I have this longer foghorn sound that's gonna play off the shorter one. <laughs> And I also have this knocking bass sound to fill in the gaps between the main basses. And then I have this Reese sound that I designed during the 10K live stream. So shout out to everyone that tuned into the live stream. If you don't have these sounds, then keep an eye out for my preset pack that's coming out later this summer. It's got to include this and a lot more. So on top of the new Falkhorn sounds, I tighten up the mix, especially the drums, and then rework the arrangement a little bit with some additional effects and whatnot. So here's the track. So that was my jacked up version of my Raga track and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm pretty excited about it. It started off as a demo for this video and then it grew into something else. So let me know down in the comments, which section do you prefer more? The Raga or the Falkhorn? Or do you like it both? And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the like button, comment and subscribe because all that helps my channel grow. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing and I'll see you at the next video.